Hi, I'm board certified dermatologist Alex Snodgrass and today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite procedures while injecting myself. So if you are a patient of mine, it's no secret that I love Master Botox. Master Botox is amazing for both functional and aesthetic reasons. From a functional standpoint, if you have any symptoms of TMJ, like tightness when you wake up, teeth grinding and the side effects associated with that, Master Botox can essentially stop those issues in its tracks or stop them majority of them. From an aesthetic standpoint, it can slim the anterior profile of the face. When um, I was in college and younger, I had a big bulky lower face and I prefer a more slimmed feminine contour to my lower face and so Master Botox is my favorite thing for that. So I'm due for mine and I can tell by biting down the muscle, if you can see, is just ever so slightly popping out on my fingers. And so it's time to re-inject. Now the standard dosing that I say works for 95% of patients is 20 units of Botox per side. And in this case, I'm using Dysport. So I'm using 60 units of Dysport per side. And then I measure the width of the muscle. Big pinch right here. my left side is now done and now one of the things that comes up a lot regarding master Botox is patients are often afraid of it because they think it can create jowling first of all master Botox does not create jowling it in the worst case scenario can unmask jowling and that's why it's very important to go to a injector who knows what they're doing to assess you prior to that and make sure that you're not at risk for development of jowling the reason for that is the master, when it's big and bulky, it pulls back on the skin. So when you relax that muscle and make it smaller, the skin can kind of move forward. However, as mentioned, it's an unmasking, not necessarily a creation of jowling. So in that case, if you develop a little bit of laxity along the anterior jawline, secondary to master Botox, it probably can give you a peek into the idea that you're probably ready for some maybe chin filler to pull the chin forward and, un and undo that. Maybe you're ready for a little bit of Morpheus to tighten along the jawline. I've done both of those procedures and haven't had any issue despite fluctuations in weight and bone structure secondary to growing less young in multiple pregnancies. Okay, time for the right side. Big pinch right here. And it, to be honest, it's relatively painless. Like if you can do something on yourself, it's like not even as bad as like ripping off a Band-Aid. So there's one of my top favorite procedures of all time, Master Botox. Um, and let's talk a little bit in the comments if you have any questions. Bye.